Hello, this is Carrie Bradford, and I am here today to show you how to use my storyboard templates or any other clipping mask in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Now, I am using Photoshop in this video, but the process is the same in both Photoshop and in Elements. I also want to mention that I am not a Photoshop expert. <laughs> I'm mostly self-taught, um, and there there are always more than one way to do something, but I am sharing what works for me. So let's get started. Um, as you can see here, I have opened up my storyboard template and all of my photos, and you can see that they're all up here across the top with the tabs. And if I click on them, you can see that they each one pulls up. And I am gonna go back to my storyboard template, and I know that with this particular photo, I want to put it right here. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see, you know, each of these squares are there. It's, you know, it's its own layer. So I'm going to click on this photo, and you can see over here in the layers palette that, that particular layer has been highlighted. So what I'm going to do now is come to my photo and click on the photo and drag it up to where it says storyboard and bring it down and then release my mouse. And you can see now it is kind of, you know, set behind some of them, etc. But it's but the photo itself is right above the layer where I want it. Um, this way, now I can just simply go, and if you look over in the layers palette, and you can see my mouse, and it's currently showing a little hand. If I press the Alt key, it changes to that, what I like to call a bumblebee. For whatever reason, that looks like a bumblebee to me. And if I press the Alt key, so I've got my little bumblebee, and then I click my mouse, you can see now those two layers have been clipped together. And over in the template area, you can see it's just only showing a piece of it, yet you can see all the way around that that's where the photo is behind it. So, of course, you know, we want to resize this particular photo. And you can click on the little handles in the corners, and that will resize them. In Photoshop, you have to press the Shift key to keep the the proportions uh, sizing the same. Uh, in Elements, all you have to do is just click on the little handle and move it. I don't know why they have it separate or you know different like that. I kind of like just to be able to click on it and keep all of the proportions the same, but you know, whatever. So I'm just resizing my photo just to kind of fit it into the area where I want it. And I double click on it. In Photoshop, um, in, in Elements, I believe that there's a little OK button. Um, but in Photoshop, you just double click on it and it will preserve that particular um, size that you have just put in. So we have our first one. Um, and let me show you another way that you can just drag and drop your photos in there. I can just take this particular photo and I'm going to click on it and drag it up to Storyboard and then just let go. And you can see it's not exactly where I would want it to be. So here I can just click on the layer in the layers palette and I can just move it on down above the layer. You can see how there's like the little the little rectangle here. You could I can just move it right above that particular layer where I'm gonna want to clip it and and drop it there. This way, so there's two different ways that you can choose where you want your layer to be is basically what I'm getting at. So from here now, I'm going to be over in my layers palette, press the Alt key, you see it changes to the bumblebee, and then I click my mouse. And now those two have been clicked together. If by chance I don't want it there, I can again do the same thing, Alt key, click, and it releases that clipping mask. But of course, you know, I want my photo there, so I'm going to clip it back together, press Shift and my click, or if you're in Photoshop Elements, just grab the handle and resize the photo as you need to and I'm just gonna nudge it around with my mouse and my arrow keys and there we go now I'll go grab my next one and let's say for example I want it on this particular layer 2 here so I'm gonna come grab my photo click and drag it to the storyboard template and you can see over here in the layers palette, because I had chosen that layer too, it is sitting now just above that layer. I'm going to press Alt, click, and now they're click, clipped together. 
and then I just simply resize my photo as I need to. And the next photo, again, click, drag, drop. And, you know, here I didn't choose, I, I didn't happen to choose what layer I wanted above, but it is, um, well, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag it down here. Again, you know, you can do it. There's, like I say, there's always more than one way to do it. And I'm going to just kind of resize it here a little bit because this one is a little bit off in shape. And I'm going to come back over to my layers palette, press Alt, click. Oh, I didn't release the size there. Alt, click, and now you can see it's in this little square and I can move it around and it stays within its square. And then for the very last photo, let's, let's do, let me choose that particular layer. You can see it's all selected here. I'm going to move this, come over here, click and drag, and drop it onto here. And I'll just kind of quickly resize it just a little bit. And do over in the layers palette, Alt, click, it clips it together. And then I'll just grab the little handles and just kind of resize it a little bit so that it fits where where I want it and double click on it or press OK if you're using elements and then it will you know maintain its shape there and that's it if you look over here my layers palette you can see on my layer one I've clipped it to the photo you know layer two to that photo etc all the way up so each one has its own little clip the 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 photo and the, the mask itself have been clipped together. And there you have it. That's how you use them. Thank you for stopping by.